All right, everybody, it's Daniel with VintageMagic.com, and what I want to show you, you guys today is um, these beautiful lands that I got from Kev Walker, or Kevin Walker from the United Kingdom. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Thanks for your professionalism and awesome shipping job. So uh, this is going to be like a, a kind of a video that I'll do um, hopefully more often when I purchase uh, rarities and items from vendors, either from eBay or off eBay or at Grand Prix, whatever I purchase. I'll try to do as many videos as possible so I can share with you guys some of the things we purchase uh, so you guys can get some ideas of, you know, um, you know things to invest in and uh, what I look for when I buy stuff from people. So uh, first things first, um, uh, the packaging was amazing. Um, there was a bubble envelope here. I'm not going to show his address. But then on top of that, this is wrapped in a super thick bubble envelope. And then it's reinforced by a cardboard box and then with additional cardboard. What I like about this, um, what Kev did was he put the word documents so I knew which one was the documents and I assumed the other one was the art. So uh, I guess when you guys package things, make sure you guys... Um, write what the item is going to be otherwise people don't really know what they're buying uh, it's just a hint um, and always reinforce art or um, any type of uh, sensitive items with reinforced cardboard and bubble wrap um, I think this is a, a, a you know from a grade of 1 to 10 or you know F to A I would say this is probably a B plus packaging job I'm not going to give it an A plus because that's going to be, you know, um, you know, some of the other artists go crazy with their packaging, which I'll show you later on. But um, the reason why is because uh, you know typically I like to have it in a, a thicker box, a master pack box. I know it's an overkill thing, but it does eliminate uh, any potential of risk because in this particular package, if um, the FedEx came, if FedEx decided to. It went to a conveyor belt and you know just cut in half or someone stepped on it or pierced it um, it pretty much would have been game over so a bigger box master pack box which has foam would have uh, alleviated that so or actually protected a lot of that issue <coughs> so next thing is let's go through the art um, what's really nice here is um, Kev does not do letter of authenticities normally but he did uh, the three for me here. And something to know about letter authenticities is when you buy art, make sure you ask the artist for one. The reason why is because um, if you don't receive one and later on you have to ask, it's a really difficult um, battle because artists are very busy and you probably have to pay for it because they have to stop what they're doing sometimes. Some artists won't charge you it's always better to ask all the details up front. That's very, very important. All right, let's get right to the art. So, um, Kev was very generous here. He gave me four artist proofs. Artist proofs are the white back cards. And um, artists receive typically about only 50 um, regular ones and 30 foil ones. I believe in the Commander 2016 set, which this was in. There were no foil versions, so these are the only artist proofs you can get. So what I like to compare usually with the art, and I, com I like to compare with the card uh, itself. And the reason why I do that is I really, um, really appreciate kind of, the, you really start appreciating where the art has come from, how detailed it is. So this is the actual painting itself. Um, <coughs> I want to say the image is close to an 8 half by 11. If you look at the authenticity letter and the painting, um, that's an 8 half by 11. So I would probably say like, I don't know, 8 by 10? I mean, it's pretty close. I mean, and so I would say like for Kev Walker's paintings, from what I've seen in the past, they're actually smaller than 8 by 10 typically. Um, so this was a nice size for a Kev Walker piece and Kev Walker as you know is created some of the most beautiful pieces in the world of Magic the Gathering including 
um, Damnation, City of Traitors, and uh, Lightning Helix, the promo. I believe it's Siege Rhino. He's done a lot of pieces. I mean, it's insane. So I think he's done like 200 plus, maybe even 300. He doesn't do that many basic lands, and basic lands actually are very popular in Magic the Gathering because they're extremely hangable. And so hangability factor is really important when you look at paintings, um, not only from investment, but also collecting. Um, people, you know, if you can hang out on your wall, you know, versus a big insect or something, which is, insects are cool, but if you uh, can't hang it, usually it doesn't pass the sofa test or the wife test, uh, it's gonna be really difficult to buy it or resell it. I mean, this painting is absolutely gorgeous. So my impressions on this is, in the card, it's actually a little bit brighter and more contrasted in a way. But in the painting, I'm telling you, it has this haze of you're actually in this island. I, I'm telling you, I swear, it is probably one of the most finely detailed paintings I have ever seen in my life. It is incredible. I mean, um, I, I do own some Kev Walker paintings, some uh, really iconic pieces but this is I don't know man it's probably one of my favorites um these I, these lands and in fact there's a total of five lands as you guys know island swamp forest mountain and um plains were the five so uh I'm thinking about like why in the world did I not win this these were on an auction on Facebook and I kind of wish I would have won all five or the other two one of them was within reach. I just forgot to bid. The mountain. The plains. I was the second highest bidder. Um, and we went, went for a pretty high price. Close to $5,000. But um, putting all five together just would have been spectacular. I mean, these are the these are really the best lands I have seen for a very long time. So here's the forest. And I believe Kev uses um, acrylics. Uh, mixed media, maybe. But I mean, he is so good. And this this forest um, sold for almost uh, when I, I purchased it for almost five thousand dollars. I think it was almost. Look at the invoice here. Actually, you know what? The forest was four thousand four hundred fifty. The island was four thousand three hundred, and the swamp was three thousand six hundred fifty. So, I mean, just to be honest with you, I mean, this forest is just absolutely incredible. I mean, it is so bright. So like breathtaking it Truly the moss feels like you are literally in This fantasy for this lush green forest That is just filled with moss and the organic nature of a forest. I mean, I Love this part of it the lighting how the lighting kind of um, flows and puts highlights on some of the um, the bridge and the the rocks and the you know little things there. Um, I think that's a right nice touch. Um, using use of lighting is very critical. I think Kev is just I don't know just absolutely incredible at it. And then uh, lastly, this is the swamp. Um, God, this swamp. When I saw this swamp on the auction, I was like, oh my god, I gotta have it. I'm actually surprised it's not go for more. I just love. These I just love the the, the 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 art in this set. I mean this particular sequence of all the art he's done And what I like about it is everything <laughs> After I'm not sure if it's an art director thing, but if you notice every single piece has um, A path A path look at this path like this is obvious a path to uh, I don't know if that is like a a dungeon or something but can you guys just imagine this like this is like a swamp marsh I love the purple haze and the reflection of the water it's almost like a I, I want to say it's like I, I would say like later day but the light hits the water really well of the, of the marsh god it's just so good and here's another path by the way of the forest the walkway 
you guys probably recognize paths, you know, a lot of paths when you guys uh, go hiking. And the island path is very interesting. It actually, um, you know, has like kind of an upwards slope. Very cool. Some people actually said that the island resembled a lot of the um, Star Wars uh, Force Awakening movie, I believe. That one where, um, the very end, where um, you see uh, Luke Skywalker. Uh, but Kev mentioned on Facebook that that was not the inspiration. In fact, he did this painting before that movie. So the irony of it all was very interesting. All right, guys. So thanks again for watching today. This is just kind of like a mail day for me. I uh, got this from FedEx. Um, I really appreciate Kev uh, sending this out very professionally. Uh, I would give him a five-star rating on professionalism and quality of product. Uh, extremely excited to get these framed up. Um, I'll probably, you know, what I'll probably do is um, do videos on uh, before uh, in terms of framing, like after. No, but I, I don't know if I'm going to just do one video of one one item. Or I'll just probably do uh, probably a bunch that I get framed up. This way you can take a look at it and tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys are interested in any more Magic Gathering artwork, rarities, cards, uh, we obviously sell these uh, type of artworks. These ones will be kept in my in our collection for now. But um, again, if you go to the website, on the top it says art. We, we have hundreds and thousands of, I would say totals, I would say thousands of sketches and art total. I just don't have the time to take a high resolution picture of every single piece, put it up. And not everything's for sale. So um, if there's something you're looking for specifically, I can help you broker and find pieces um, that we don't have. I have a lot of access to a lot of the older art. And, uh, you know, I work with a lot of artists directly um, to do commissions too. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.